Hello and welcome. My name is Timothy Donovan, and today I'm going to teach you how to create an advanced chroma key in Adobe After Effects. After viewing this tutorial, you will be able to apply the key light effect to a video layer in After Effects. You will be able to create an advanced chroma key composite in After Effects using the key light effect. You will be able to demonstrate an understanding of the key light effect and its benefits. And you will also be able to use sophisticated compositing techniques for your own applications. So let's get started. The first step is setting up a new project. With After Effects already open, we will create and save a new project and we will create a new composition. To create a new project, go to File, New, New Project. Go back to File, Go to Save As, name your project, choose where you would like to save it, and click Save. Now, go to Composition, New Composition, name your composition. Make sure the settings are correct, and click OK. So we had just created a new project and a new composition. For a quick recap on what we had just completed, we had set up a new project by creating and saving a new project and creating a new composition. It's time to move on to the next step. In this next step, we will import our desired media into our project. To import a file, go to File, Import, File. And here, as you can see, I had imported a video clip of a band with a green screen behind them. For a quick recap on what we had just completed, we had imported our desired media into our project. It's time to move on to the next step. In this next step, we will apply the key light effect to our video layer. In this next step, we are going to apply the key light effect to our green screen footage. Start by selecting your green screen footage and dragging it into the timeline. Now once we key out the green, the background is going to be replaced. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to replace my background with the white color solid. So select Layer, New, Solid. The background is already white, so I'm going to click OK. And it put it in the timeline for me automatically. So I'm going to drag the white solid beneath the green screen footage. I'm going to highlight the footage and go up to Effect, Keying, Key Light 1.2. For a quick recap on what we had just completed, we had applied the Key Light effect to a video layer. It's time for the next step. And this next step, we will work with the settings in Keylight to create an advanced chroma key composite. In this next step, we will adjust the Keylight effect to create an advanced chroma key. The first step in this process is to key out the green. We will do that by selecting the eyedropper tool next to screen color under the effect controls window. Click the eyedropper tool, bring it in your footage, and select an area of the green you would like to key out. Click the mouse and it will remove the green. Next, bring up the screen pre-blur under effect controls up to about 1 or 1 1.2. Doing this will smooth out the edges around your video. Now, up where it says view, final result, Highlight Final Result and select Screen Matte. 
This will create an alpha of your footage, which will allow you to adjust the key. Go down to where it says screen mat, click the drop down arrow, and start by bringing up the black until the black in your footage is as dark as it can go without eating away the white. So I'd say between about 22 and 25 for my clip here. It will vary based on how well your footage was lit. Now, you would also like to bring down the white to about, I'd say about 90 to 95. Went a little bit too far there. Right about 95 here. Go back to view, where it says screen mat, and click final result. And there it is, a clean chroma key of your footage. For a quick recap on what we had just completed, we had worked with the settings in Keylight to create an advanced chroma key composite. It's time to move on to the next step. In this last step, we will experiment with the settings and with multiple layers to create our own unique composite. Now that you had learned how to successfully create an advanced chroma key using the key light effect in After Effects, it's time for some experimentation. There is really no limit to what you can do using key light. I'm going to start here by removing my white background. I'm going to replace the white background with the video clip I have from Action Essentials 2, which is a plugin for Adobe After Effects. Going to resize my background here so that it fits my composition nicely. And there we have it. I replaced the white with the city scene background. Now to make things a little bit more interesting, I'm going to do some compositing here. I'm going to add a car bomb to the background. To do that, I have to drag it to my timeline under the green screen footage, but in front of my background footage. Now as you can see, that's a pretty large explosion there. I'd like to fit that in with the background a little bit better. So I'm going to highlight that car bomb explosion footage. I'm going to resize it so that it fits within the composition a bit better. And I'm going to see how that fits. And I'm going to drag that down just a bit so it looks like it's coming off the ground and not floating through the air, which will also require me to resize this a bit. I'd say right about there. Now that's just the background. I'd also like to add some smoke to the foreground and make this seem a bit more three-dimensional. So I'm going to take another clip that I took from Action Essentials 2 and drag that into the timeline above the original green screen footage.
So in the foreground here, I have some smoke. The middle ground consists of my band, which was my original green screen footage. My background consists of the car bomb explosion and the city street. Play this through and see what we just created. It'll take a moment to render. And there we have it. One of the many examples of what you can do using the key light effect and Adobe After Effects. Well, that's all I have for you all today. I hope you learned something, and most importantly, I hope you had fun. I'm Timothy Donovan. Have a nice evening.